What is your read on the polls lately, Richo? We have seen various polls now, the news poll just recently, suggesting that the Prime Minister really is starting to lose his shine with voters. Well, it's, it's, it's not really unusual mid-term for governments to dip in the polls. I mean, that, that, uh, that happens all the time. Uh, it's the last 12 months that you look at and, and see how they're tracking then. Uh, so I think they can afford to be down a bit now, but they can't afford to let that, uh, that just continue on and on and on. You, you, when you're going poorly, uh, you can afford it for a little while, but you can't afford it for a long time. So they're going to need to, to, uh, to do a few things that, that grab public interest. And you can only do that if the things you do are big. Think on a small scale and you're dead. How do you assess the end of the year for the government? We know, of course, we've been reporting today, the government wants to pass these uh, new laws that would allow convicted criminals released from immigration detention to be re-detained. It has turned into a, a political football. There's a lot of speculation that these new laws, if they do come up with any, would also just end up back in, in the High Court. It is a bit of a, a messy end to the year. Yeah, it is. But I think no matter what they do, it'll end up in the High Court. Um, that, that's for sure. Um, on a subject like this, uh, you can bet someone will go to the High Court. So I think uh, they've got to be prepared for that, but they'll get the best legal advice they can and, uh, and, and have a crack. Uh, it's just not, not easy these days. The High Court doesn't find it too difficult to knock over the government. Um, uh, it's a pretty a activist High Court, I would have thought, uh, despite the fact that if you look at it, and the, the judges are supposed to be conservative. They look pretty activist to me. Mm. So, Richard, just to, to wrap up, in terms of looking ahead at, at what we can expect in, in 2024, what are you expecting will be the big issues we're, we're looking at? Obviously, the cost of living pressures mm. will, will roll on. What else do you think is going to be on the agenda we'll all be talking about next year? I think um, there, there's nothing as big as cost of living. Um, it won't go away. Um, it, it'll dominate again next year, uh, all the way till the election. It'll be cost of living and, and you'll be sick of hearing about it. But that's what's, what's going to happen, I think. Uh, in terms of other issues, you've got to remember these days, between the two parties, there's very little difference. I mean, their policies are, are really only a, a differing at the margin, how far you go on something, not whether you do it or not. And uh, therefore, you, 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 you see the two main parties uh, have, have actually converged quite a bit. They'd hate me saying that, but it's true. They've converged quite a bit. And uh, if you take out um, matters to do with trade unions, uh, then uh, really it's just a matter of picking who's more competent. Uh, and um, at times, Labor's looked a lot more competent than the Liberals. And so uh, the Liberals are going through one of those periods, I think, where uh, you have to rebuild. There's not many signs that they're doing it, but they're going to have to soon. They're going to have to rebuild. Otherwise, they can look forward to a long time in opposition. When you've got a populist prime minister like um, uh, Alba, who's populist uh, in terms of the way he conducts himself, but he's also popular. They like him out there in the in the uh, uh, the towns and the villages. They they think Albo is a pretty good bloke, the sort of bloke you wouldn't mind having as your neighbour. So uh, as long as that uh, prevails, then the Liberals have got a real problem. And my suspicion is the Liberals won't be in government for quite some time. It's also my hope, because obviously you know where I come from. But uh, on a more serious note, um, they aren't looking good and they don't seem to be ca capturing the middle ground. So I'd say Elbow's set for a, a long reign. Graham Richardson, always enjoy picking your political brain. Thanks for your time. Thank you.